Hi, I am Beth Ann Mayer. I'm a deacon in the Episcopal Church, uh, serving Christ Church in Montpelier and Church of the Good Shepherd in Barrie. Our local organizing committee has been focused on homelessness and housing, affordable housing for the last five years. Our last action was in December of 2019 when we gathered together the uh, mayor of Montpelier, the city council, our legislators in the basement of St. Augustine's Catholic Church uh, in Montpelier, which was also being used at that moment for a uh, evening warming shelter for people experiencing homelessness. We had over 100 people who were able to share conversation, um, concerns, needs, solutions, and it was a wonderful period of having good one-on-ones and uh, trying to move forward with some action. Uh, we have been gathering statistics, and at the time, we thought we were in a crisis situation with 140 households experiencing homelessness. But then the pandemic hit and uncovered the truly enormous number of people who had been living in precarious housing, uh, doubled up in crowded living conditions, who then entered the coordinated entry list so that our numbers doubled. And as you can see, even in the last two months have continued to go up. So we now have 322 households in central Vermont experiencing homelessness. There's been some good news. 43 households have moved into permanent housing since March of 2020. And as of November 9th, just a couple of days ago, 59 households have rental vouchers in hand and committed rent housing retention specialist support, but cannot find units to rent. We have been advocating for the housing first model that has three components, rental voucher support, housing specialist support so that people can hold on to their housing and affordable units. And at the moment, it is the affordable units that is the roadblock. So we have joined together with others in the state. We now have a statewide organizing committee focused on this and have decided to focus on sources of revenue to address affordable housing in Vermont. And that is how we are moving forward. We are scheduling meetings with um, legislators who are holding the purse strings of the limited funds we have in Vermont and uh, advocating for this use. So we'd love to have you join us. Thank you.